Hi guys, it's Sam and today is March 20th, which means it's the first day of spring and what's really funny is that it's snowing outside like an actual snowstorm. So spring is coming with a bang, but what that also means is it's my Finish 22 products by spring update and I wanted to wait until the last day, which is March 20th, so I could use all the products up one more time uh, to do this video. And the initial premise was I believe Finish 7 products by spring. For some reason I wanted to do a lot more than that, so I had 22 group oh, and I wrote <laughs> I wrote out a list and I put it in read March 20th. Uh, I wrote out a list of all the products and what I replaced them with. So the first product I'm going to mention is a pri the primers and I have a few of them because I, when I was doing this Finish 22 I, come to, I have come to realize which a lot of you probably know is face products are so much easier because you're using a lot more product. Face products are much easier to finish than eye products. I'm going to go through this list and the first product is the Makeup Forever HD Primer. I was able to finish it. Now I didn't cut it open, uh, but I did finish it. I also finished the Laura Mercier Primer. Now both of these were halfway full, so that was pretty easy to finish. If you do not like the silicone primers and you like more of a moisturizing primer, these are the ones for you. I personally did not feel like these did anything for me. They were just an extra moisturizer that I was putting on my face. And a third primer that I finished up was the L'Oreal Studio Secrets Magic Perfecting Base. And this is a silicone type of primer, but what I I did not like this one either because it just while it covered a little bit of my pores, I still saw my pores and it just made my foundation move around. So I wouldn't get any of these primers again. And that's a primer, a face primer I've always struggled with to find one that I like and so I'm still on the hunt. Next is the Rimmel Elastic Finish Foundation. And this product I just, I really want to finish up. I don't love it. I don't hate it. It's an okay foundation. It definitely does not last 25 hours on me. Not that any foundation would, but it didn't last me a whole day. And I just, I know a lot of people love this, but I just did not love it. And there's so many other foundations that I like better. And then here is the Revlon Photo Ready so this is kind of a, not haha -ha funny, but like, okay. So in here, the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. I did finish up the uh, Revlon Photo Ready Foundation. That foundation is okay. It's very shimmery or glowy. If you like that look, then I would highly recommend the Revlon Photo Ready. I have in here the Maybelline Fit Me, which is, what the, this is the old older one. I know they have come out with a bunch of newer ones. And... I initially did not like this foundation, but I do. I, I Is this something I would repurchase? Probably not, just because I love other foundations better. But this isn't a bad foundation at all. I remember really not liking it, but I did while well, I'm still using it up. I think I have about a week's worth. And, oh, don't try to take off, open this bottle unless you have towels all around you. Because the top, I had to use tweezers. It was very dangerous and... I should have just kept it in here. I don't know why I tried to move it around. But I am, I think I have a week's worth left of that foundation, the Maybelline Fit Me, and then I'll be done with that. So I will try to finish that up. Next is concealer. So I tried to finish up the Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer, and I finished, I actually was able to take off the top and get all of it out. Love this concealer. I would definitely get a full size of this after I finished some more concealers, but this one was in light, medium, and the coverage was great. There was, under my eye, there was really no creasing, and it just, the coverage was amazing. So I really like this concealer. I, that lasted me a very long time. That small sample size lasted me forever. The one that I was trying to use up after I finished that was the Sonia Kashuk Hidden Agenda. And I recently just put this on the list. So, <laughs> That always happens. I have to glue that down because that's pretty annoying. So I actually had a little bit of this left and a little bit of this. So I mixed them together and I really like this concealer. It's very creamy. I do have it under my eyes. It's very creamy. Now for lip balms. I did finish up the CarMax lip balm. I have very little left but it was one of those products that just kept on coming out. So I did finish that. Uh, I did also finish the... Soft Lips Vanilla. 
the lip balm in here and so okay so the first product that I mentioned is the product that was initially on the finish 22 and then the products I mentioned after that are the ones that I had to replace uh, next is a face powder so I had I had finished the Maybelline instant age rewind the perfecter so all gone there and what I what I ended up doing was if you have containers like this I had bought you know a pack of these different sizes and once you start getting around the product that's around the edges it starts to break but when you open it when you press a brush into there so what I did was I broke it broke up the edges put it in here crush it up with the bottom of a brush brush or something like that and use the powder that way so I did finish this up I wouldn't repurchase uh, it just wasn't a very good powder uh, and then I did finish up another powder. This is the Maybelline Dream Matte Powder. I had very little left of this. And that's the thing. I try to pick out whatever I was done with the initial Finish 22 product. I would go into my makeup cabinet and pick something that I was... I hit major pan on just to get rid of it. This is a great powder. I really like this powder and I would get it again in the future. I'm getting a lot of stuff in the future, aren't I? But it's going to be a while because I have so many products, you know? Uh, then... I had another powder, which I did finish. It was in here, the same container that I just pulled out. This was the L'Oreal True Match Powder with the e.l.f. Corrective Yellow Powder. Uh, I just, I had a little bit of the L'Oreal True Match left, and I mixed it in with the e.l.f. Corrective Yellow Powder, and I love that e.l.f. Corrective Yellow Powder. If you uh, want sort of that banana powder looking look under your eyes, I did that a lot. I mixed that in with a lot of powders that I have, so I really like that. Uh, then NYC bronzer what do you guys think I did finish it all and what again what started happening was the edges broke around so I had to and it fell so I had to like press it and they say that once you press the product it goes faster but I think that's because it like breaks apart more and you have to throw some of it in the garbage I don't know uh, but I did finish it this Bronzer was never my favorite, another YouTube product that people love, but I just felt like it was really orange, and I don't know, it is very cheap, but I just, I wouldn't get this again. Uh, then Cargo Blush in Rome, I had it in my Rockin' Republic eyeshadow compact. So I did pretty well, uh, but I couldn't finish it. I had... What had happened was in the original container I had broke it and I think I just really packed a lot of product into here. I will try to finish this up but man I am so tired of that blush. I am wearing it and it's so pretty but I'm tired of wearing it. I've really worn that exclusively for the past 2-3 months or whenever I started this which I will link that video below the original video. Uh, Benefit Watts Up which it looks like this. And no, I did not finish it. I actually, this, for some reason, a lot of my cream products, I don't know if my room is too hot, but it's, they're starting to melt. Lipsticks and this started to melt. So I put it in here and that is what I have left, but you don't want to look like a highlighter, a highlighted all over your face. So I do have it on my cheekbones and I try to put it in a corner and my upper lip, but man, this is another product that just taking forever. So I will finish this up, but whatever is left over like the products that I mentioned that I haven't finished up I am going to finish those but uh, maybe not exclusively next is the elf brow pencil lifter and filler so I added this product in and I I couldn't sharpen anymore so that's when I consider a product done but this isn't bad it's very waxy it stays on the eye I really like this but the it's a little look at how these are jumbo pencils so imagine putting this on your eye I had to take a brush and it just wasn't very convenient so I liked it but I wouldn't get it again then here is the lifter part if I could get it out so I just would I would fill in my brows with the filler part and then the lifter I would just go around right yeah I think that makes sense uh, so I, I like that, but I wouldn't get it again. Next is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. 
I don't know. I, you know, this product used to, I cut it open, so that's why it looks kind of like that. Because I was like, oh, I think I'm almost done with it. I cut it open, and there was so much left in here. I put it in one of these container things, and for me, I'm. I've said this. I've said this before. I'm a very visual person, so if I don't. Like, I thought I was almost done with this product, but look how much, and this is after using it for several months, uh, several months, using it the past two months. Look at how much is left in here. Probably another, I would say, two, three months. So I don't love this primer anymore. I used to love it, but I don't know if that's because this was one of the first primers that I ever bought. So it's been a real struggle. I'm, I'm going to actually, I'm going to keep on using this, but... You know, I'm, I, I want to finish that up, so I'm going to keep on using it. But, yeah, cut yours open if you love this. Don't throw it away because there's so much left. And I love using the containers. Just I can see how much is left that I have to use. Uh, NYX Eyeshadow Base. This is another product that is just taking forever. I like it, though, so I'm not too upset about it. But here's the product. And this is a great match. I put this over the primer after the primer dries. And I really do like this product. So I, I just want to finish it up because I have a, the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot that's very similar in color to that. And I just want to use that up as well because, it, you know, they're cream products. So although that NYX eyeshadow base seems to be getting creamier, but maybe that's the heat of my room. I don't know. Uh, then we have a whole bunch of mascaras. So uh, what I had on the list was the uh, Clinique High Impact Mascara. And I really like I like this formula. I like the brush a lot. If they had a waterproof version, I might really consider getting it because this doesn't hold my curl. But I did like this mascara a lot. Uh, then after that, I had added for that section of... Well, since I finished that up, I wanted to add another mascara. This is the Make a Forever Smoky Lash. I've had this for a very, very long time. This one, I did use it a couple times, but then it started to... It dried out. I couldn't even get anything. And... From what I remember using this product way back when is it it gave you lots of clumpy volume kind of lashes. So if you like that, I would recommend this. If not, um, pass on it. I wouldn't get that again. Uh, then I had the Maybelline XXL Pro Extensions. This is a waterproof version. This is actually discontinued. I did like the primer part and the mascara wasn't bad either. But I mean, I can't get it anymore, so... It doesn't even matter. But the primer was good. I think they still sell these types of mascara. So I might have to take a look because the primer, it worked. Uh, for me, a lot of the mascaras don't hold my curls. So using a primer is beneficial. Sorry. <clears throat> uh, then I had one last mascara. This is the Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme. I did not like this. Uh, this wand, I don't, I don't particularly like this wand. And the formula, it did give me... Pretty long lashes, but it didn't hold my curl, so you guys know that's a big no-no. Uh, then I had the... Oh, you know what? I forgot to... Did I pull that out? No, I didn't pull that. I had the Ico Skinny Eyeliner, the marker, and I actually took that out because I had two markers in here. The other one I had was a Jordana Fabu Liner, which this is another product that's... There's so much left in here. It's still very cream, not creamy. It's still very saturated when it comes out. Just, I have to be careful though because it will transfer. But um, this time it hasn't yet. But this is a really nice marker. Let me show you. Next, I had another eyeliner on here. This is the Mark Get In Line. I don't even think they make this product anymore. But the problem with this is. I don't know if you could tell, it's starting to bleed and it's very, very wet. I've had this product forever, but it's still saturated, which would have been a good thing if, but this is just, it bleeds and imagine that happening to my eyes. I already have problems with transferring, so that I'm getting rid of. Next is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil. This one is in zero and I did finish it up. I even tried to sharpen it some more, but it wouldn't sharpen. So I took that as a cue that it's finished. I went in with a brush to get out some of the rest, but I'm done with it. And this actually transfers on me, so I wouldn't get it again. Uh, I had a lot of fun trying out dramatic looks. I did use it on my lid, and that's what I did most of the time. I would put it on my lid and blend it out, and then put a powder on top, and it seems to do okay. But by itself, it would transfer, it would smudge, so I wouldn't get that again. And then, 
lipsticks. So the Revlon Lip Butter in Pink Truffle, I did finish that up. And this was another product that was hard to finish up. It just, you think, I thought that this right here at the top level, that's when the lipstick was done. But there's so much more in there uh, that that was a surprise and not in a good way. Uh, I love that Pink Truffle color. I would definitely get it again later on uh then i had another lip product which i was able to finish this is the avon lipstick in magnify mob i actually just finished it today next was the clarence instant light natural lip perfector and i love that product that i didn't want to finish it up so quickly so i took it out and i replaced it with nyx's uh mega gloss in beige and i love this product this makes any lipstick so the, Magna, the Avon Magnify Mob is underneath the NYX's lip gloss. This makes any lipstick look twice as good. So I really like this. Uh, this is a never-ending product, so I'm going to try to finish that up as well. And the very last product was the Bosha Blotting Liners, or the Blotting Papers. And I took that. That's another product that I removed from the list just because I was finding that I wasn't using it. I was forcing myself to use it. And then it hit me that, wait, my face isn't shiny, my face isn't oily. This is probably the wrong time to be pulling out liners if you don't have a very oily face. So I'm going to use that up in the future, maybe in the summer when the weather gets warmer. And maybe I'll do another finished X amount of products video. But yeah, I took that product out and I forgot to mention this is the Maybelline Definer Brow, which I did use today. I'm um, using that. Uh, I put this in place of the e.l.f. Brow Pencil Lifter and Filler. So this is what I'm trying to use up. And so that is my update. I was able to finish several products. So let me see. I'm going to count it right now. Okay, so I just did the official count and I was able to finish 20 products. Now, not all of them were from the original 22, but I'm still glad that I got, I was able to get through so many products and I will continue the products that I did not finish. I will continue to use them up until they're done. They'll you'll probably see them in the future empties. It was, this was a very challenging but also rewarding process because I was able to finish up so many products, but it was challenging to just, it was monotonous just to use the same products over and over and over again. It was very hard and just like with the decluttering and the no buy, I'll do this maybe every six months I can't do it all the time it's just really tough for me to use the same products over and over again and I love these some of these products I love but I'm I'm glad that I'm gonna be able to switch out products and just use something new uh, to throw into the rotation but I would recommend that each of you try not maybe not 22 but something more doable like five uh, just just try it it's it's very rewarding but challenging so here is the list just one more time so you guys could see and i would recommend making a list it was so easy it was very nice to be able to look at a sheet and say yeah that was i'm able to cross it off i i'm a very make a list and cross it off type of person so this was really helpful and if you guys are going through a finish x amount of products type of project I am here to support you. I wish you well. And for the rest of you, I hope you guys are also doing well. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.